for me, my mindset is just all about boxing. I'm not really too worried about promoting and, and marketing it. Just really just just focusing on boxing and just and just uh, like being as best as I can as a boxer. That's really been my mentality coming into this. Um, I want to get a chance at a world title at 140, so that's really my goal. Um, you know, the the loss, you know, don't really feel like a loss to me. So for me, it's like, okay, if I want to prove to everybody that I'm still here, I need to make a statement uh, this fight. What did you learn? What were the positives that you take from going through, I mean, just, you know, forget the fight, but just this, this whole whirlwind promotion. I mean, it was the biggest sporting event in the world. It was such a big deal, and that's because of you and, and, and Hank and your mm -hmm. popularity, obviously. People wanted that fight for so long. What did you take? What, what are the positives that you've taken having been through that, Ryan? Right? As still a guy who was one of the best fighters in the world, who yep. was still in your mid-20s. I mean, there's so much ahead of you still. Yeah. What did you learn? Yeah, I learned that... Uh, that there is a new blueprint in uh, promoting fights and, and, and you know, producing pay-per-views and how to be successful in that. And I feel that, you know, I laid it out there for uh, these young fighters, this new generation. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm also happy that um, that I figured on, on, on what to expect at, at the biggest stage and, and how to handle that better now uh, from the negotiations to the fight to everything and just being more aware of what's going on. So for me, I learned a lot. Obviously, Tank's a great fighter. Um, and, you know, I took a lot from that too. So, you know, just applying all that into this and, and just knowing that I have that experience in my back pocket, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's like, it's like well, you, you made it through that and at least outwardly, like as I'm watching you, it seemed like you handled all that stuff flawlessly. So it seems to me if you handle that, like there's nothing that's going to be too yeah, exactly. I've already been at one of the biggest stages already, so right. it's really nothing that could shake me up anymore. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Uh, talk to the people about uh, going, you know, 136 versus 140. I, you know, people might say, oh, it's only four pounds. You know, what's the difference? So what, what is the difference for you uh, fighting at 136 versus fighting at 140 where we know you had success at both? Yeah, I mean, it's about health. <laughs> health is wealth. You know, dehydration can really hurt you. Uh, obviously, anybody with two eyes can see the difference between me at 140 and at 135, you know. Um, it was a tough thing to deal with. Uh, but again, putting the fans first, making sure that, you know, I made that fight happen. And uh, that, was my whole, that was my whole mentality and showing, like, you know, you don't need to over-marinate fights. Like, the big fights are the big fights, and the fans are going to show out. So that was important to me. But... You'll see, you know, you'll see a much different Ryan Garcia, a much different person when I get in that ring, much more focused, much more aware, and um, I'm excited to show that. So you'll see the difference. Yeah, is it, does, it, does it also manifest in, 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 in power, in the ability to take a shot? Oh, yeah. Does it also affect those areas? Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Like I tell people, try to do an interview uh, really dehydrated and see if you get through it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get you out of here on this one, Ryan. What, uh, you know, talking about Oscar Duarte, obviously a guy who is, you know, like you, he's, you know, he's still a young guy, obviously only one loss, he's a really talented fighter. What, what do you have to watch out for? What does he, what challenges does he pre uh, present to you when you're, when you're in that ring uh, in December 2nd? I just got to watch out for his aggression, his power. Um, he's hungry. Uh, facing a guy like me, you know, they're always going to bring their A game. They want to make a statement. They want what I have. So I got to got, I be focused. I can't let this guy, you know, come in there and just uh, you know, have a Cinderella story. I got I to gotta end that. I got to put a stake in it. So for me, it's just staying super focused, even more aware, because this guy's trying to go out there and, and make a statement on me.